In this lecture, we will study the few important topics related to the convergence in the probability or a stochastic convergence. The convergence of a sequence of a random variable is an important concept in the probability theory. In general, it is known as stochastic convergence which formalizes the idea that a sequence of essentially random events can sometimes be expected to settle down in behavior that is essentially unchanging when items far enough into the sequence are studied. Mathematically, a sequence of random variable x1, x2 is set to converge in probability to a constant a and for any epsilon greater than 0. If n tends to infinity, probability of mode of x of n minus a is less than epsilon is equal to 1 or we can say that as limit n tends to infinity, probability of mode of x of n minus a greater than or equal to epsilon is equal to 0 or we can say that if there exists a random variable x such that x of n minus x tends to a in probability as n tends to infinity then the sequence x of n of a random variable converges in probability to the random variable x. If that particular series is of constant then a of n tends to a as n tends to infinity then consider the constant as a random variable having a one point distribution of constant that is the a of n tends to a in probability as n tends to if we have two different sequence that is x of n and y of n and x of n tends to alpha in probability and y of n tends to beta in probability as n tends to infinity then x of n plus minus y of n is equal to alpha plus minus beta in probability as n tends to infinity xn into y of n is equal to alpha beta in probability as n tends to infinity x of n divided by y of n is equal to alpha by beta in probability if n tends to infinity. Now we will study the concept of Sheffy-Sheff theorem and convergence in probability. If a sequence of random variable x1, x2, x3 up to xn with mean mu and variance sigma square exists for all n and if sigma tends to 0 as n tends to infinity then x of n minus mu that is the mean is tends to 0 in probability as n tends to infinity. For this according to the definition of Sheffy-Sheff inequality which we will study in the later lectures for any epsilon greater than 0 the probability of x of n minus mu greater than equal to epsilon is less than equal to sigma square by epsilon square tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. This is the definition of the Sheffy-Sheff inequality. Hence, x of n minus mu tends to 0 in probability as n tends to infinity provided sigma tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. Now we will study the weak law of large number. Any sequence of the random variable x1, x2, x3 up to xn having the mean mu1, mu2, mu3 up to mu of n and the variance of the sum of the random variable is given by b of n and less than infinity then the probability of x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn divided by n minus mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 up 
प्लस म्यू एन अपॉन ऑफ एन इज लेस देन अपसेलम इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन माइनस ईटा वेयर एप्सलम एंड ईटा आर द आर्बिट्री स्मॉल पॉजिटिव नंबर्स प्रोवाइडेड दैट लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी बी ऑफ एन डिवाइड बाय एन स्क्वायर टेंस टू जीरो दिस इज द वीक लॉ ऑफ लार्ज नंबर दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द वीक लॉ ऑफ लार्ज नंबर अगेन वी विल यूज द शेफी शेफ इनोकलिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेस देन C is greater than equal to one minus variance of x divided by c square. Now replace x with x one plus x two plus x three up to x n by x in this equation. So we will get this, which is equal to this quantity. Since epsilon is arbitrary, it means a b n by n square epsilon square tends to zero as n become infinitely very large it means as n tends to infinity we can also define the weak law of large number as the mean of x n is tends to mean of mu n in the probability provided that b of n divided by n square tends to zero as n tends to infinity and what is bn bn is the variance of some of the random variable we can also say that the necessary condition for the existence of this law is that the expected value of xi exists for all i and this sufficient condition for this law is the variance of the sum of the random variable will exist and p of n divided by n square tends to zero as n tends to infinity the another concept related to this lecture is the weak law of large number for independent and identically distributed random variables if x1 x2 x3 up to xn are the iids it means independently and identically distributed random variable it means a expected value of xi equal to mu and the variance of xi is equal to sigma square for all i is equal to 1 2 3 up to n then the bn which is equal to the variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn is given by this quantity the variance term vanishes out since the variable are independent hence as n tends to infinity the limit bn upon of n square equal to this quantity thus the weak law of large number holds the sequence x of n of iids random variable now according to definition we have this quantity or we can write this or this it means probability of x of n minus mu is greater than equal to epsilon is tends to zero as n tends to infinity this implies that x of n bar converges in probability to mu that is this these are the few important topics related to this lecture i hope you understand them thanks for watching this video no more about the statistics please watch the other videos